My name is Phil Katz. Uh, I'm a partner in the Washington, D.C. office, and I'm the head of the pharma regulatory practice here in the United States. Stephen Bennett. I'm a partner in the London office, and my area is patent litigation. I've been in with the firm since 1993. The biosimilars industry is in some ways in its infancy. It's a time of great excitement. It's also a time of some apprehension. Um, we're still in the early stages of, of getting products approved under the biosimilars law, and there's still a lot that needs to be decided as to how that law will be applied and what it'll mean for industry. And so I, I think the biggest state of the industry at the moment with regard to biosimilars is a certain unsettledness because there are a bunch of big questions that haven't been answered yet. And they're gonna be answered by the courts. They're gonna be answered by FDA in regulations and in guidances, and they're going to be answered by FDA in terms of decisions on individual applications. But so much of that is still to come. Um, so in terms of companies entering the market in a, in a smooth way, they've got a much, much longer gestation um, than has been had with generic products. So to enter smoothly, people need to start thinking about this a lot earlier uh, than the generic uh, entrants would have done. So just in terms of the time to develop a an expression system, a bacterial system that's going to make the same product and to characterize it and then to test it clinically, which is different for biosimilars. First off, if you look at the analogous law for generic drugs in the United States, Hatch-Waxman, um, it was adopted in 1984. It took FDA a decade before they issued regulations, so they'd been applying it in the, in the decade. And we're now more than 30 years after that, and there continue to be uh, regulatory challenges, some of which are, are addressed by regulations being issued, some of which are addressed by how FDA de decides particular um, applications, and some of which are addressed by the courts. So, so, so you look at Hatch-Waxman, there are a plethora of legal issues that develop as the law continues to develop. And I, I have no reason to expect anything other than the same with biosimilars.